Hey folks, Doug from First Tech. In today's episode of My First Tech Academy, we're going to look at remote start error codes. So to do this, the first thing we're going to do is navigate to firsttechdata.com. So this is the page that has all of our master guides. So you can go to this page. This does require login, so you'll have to be logged in. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a documents tab. You're going to click on that documents tab and then you're going to click on manuals. Once you've clicked on manuals, you're going to choose the specific control unit that you're looking at or you're working with. And then once you've done that, in this particular case, we'll look at the CMX. You'll notice a lot of these error codes for remote start uh, shutdown as well as remote start failure are the same across different control modules. However, I do recommend navigating to that specific manual for the unit that you're using. So if you download the full guide, which this is the full master guide for the CMX, you can then go down to the troubleshooting section, which is listed in the table of contents. So we're going to go to page 65. And once we do that, we're going to see some matrices that will show us the different troubleshooting codes that are available from the CMX brain. And once, let's see here, we're almost down to them. So let's look at these. This is troubleshooting and this shows you the remote start error codes. So this explains right here, if the remote start fails to start the vehicle, you will see a parking light series of flashes. So it will be a, a series of three flashes immediately followed by the corresponding number of flashes in this chart. So for example, if you attempt a remote start, and the vehicle does not start, however, you see the parking lights flash three times and then one time, either the motor is running or you must program TAC. The most common situation where you're going to receive this error code is when TAC has not been programmed. The CMX brain comes out of the box in, in TAC sensing mode. So the engine sensing mode default is set to look for TAC. So if you attempt to remote start before you program TAC, you will see three flashes and then one flash. And with the CMX, you'll notice on this brain, there is a small LED built into the brain itself, which mimics the parking light flashes. So it makes it easier to see what the diagnostic code is when you're in the vehicle. So you don't have to stand outside or have the parking lights even connected. Hopefully you do connect them. However, you can use that LED that's built into the brain to retrieve these error codes. So this just goes over the list of all of those remote start error codes. So the next page that you'll see or the next matrix you'll see in this troubleshooting section is a remote start shutdown code. So that's different than a remote start error code. This is a shutdown code. That means that the vehicle started and then it shut down. There's four reasons why a vehicle may shut down after remote starting. One is that it lost tax signal. Two is that it lost the e-brake signal if you're dealing with a manual transmission. Three would be it sees foot brake. And four, it sees hood pin. So to, to retrieve these error codes, you'll see right here after the vehicle shuts down, on a two-way remote, you can just tap button four and that will initiate this remote start error code generation, which will see four flashes followed by a series that will correspond with this chart. On a one-way remote, you hold the trunk and start buttons at the same time for two and a half seconds. And that will pull those diagnostic codes for you from that particular installation. The last one that I wanna go over just real quickly is our manual transmission diagnostics. We now have manual transmission diagnostics built into the CMX frame, as well as the 7000 series for the last version of the firmware that we've updated. So you'll notice on a CMX, the loop is now under the blade. So you'll see here, this is the manual transmission loop. If that loop is intact and you are installing on a manual transmission, this chart will show you exactly why the vehicle fails after reservation mode. So we have 10 options here and it's very simple. Again, you're going to see a series of four flashes followed by a series that corresponds with this chart. And this nails down exactly what's missing during the reservation mode process or the manual transmission remote start sequence. So this gives you a lot more information and it allows you to 
diagnose what the issue is much faster and much easier when you're dealing with a manual transmission. Hopefully that helps. Have a great day.